Affinity Designer has lots of options for warping text and vectors, but can you actually warp images? Today I'll show you how to use this easy to miss feature. So let's jump in. What's up guys, it's Trent, and today I have a quick one for you about Affinity Designer. Now in the past, I did a video about using warp groups in Affinity Designer. This is a really handy way of putting vectors and text in perspective. However, you can't actually do images in the same way. So today let's look at that problem and see how you can actually fix it easily in Affinity Designer. First, let's review the ways we can warp a vector here. So on the left here, I have a vector logo. You can see it's made of points. So it's just a vector shape here. Now when I have this vector selected, I can easily warp it. And I do that by selecting the warp group option over here. So I'll click on that. And then there are many options, but the one I'll use is perspective. And you'll notice here, my vector is now in this warp group. And over here I have these controls, so I can actually distort it to look how I want. And there's all sorts of ways you can make it look like it's in perspective. So it's quite easy to do that with a vector. Let's now look at text. So in the middle here I have some text, it's just a artistic text object. And I can distort it the same way I did with my vector. I'll just select the warp group over here. Then I'll choose perspective. And once again I can drag the handles. So again, not that hard. Now let's try it with this image. And this is just a PNG I imported. It's just a basic image. Let's try the same thing we did before. I'll click on the warp group here. I'll select perspective. And now if I drag, notice how it's not actually behaving the way we expect. It's not actually moving our image in perspective. So let me undo this. Now the solution to this problem of warping an image is actually to go into the pixel persona. So that's this button over here, pixel persona. So I'll click on that and our interface changes to the pixel tools and we have some additional options. So the key to warping an image in perspective is that we want to go to layer, new live filter layer and perspective here. So I'll click that. And now with this tool, I can actually properly warp my image in perspective in Affinity Designer. And I have this tool here, I can close it. And it's non-destructive. So later on, if I go back to my image, if I click this perspective option inside of it, I can continue to change it how I like. So just to give you a little real world demonstration, let's look at how we would apply these graphics to the sign here. So for vector, I would drag it over. And then I could do the warp group and perspective warp, and I can change it to fit the shape. You're gonna wanna look for these parallel lines here to line up with, they'll kind of guide your perspective. And there we have an example of how to do it with a vector. Let's look at the text example. So I can bring this over. I'll resize it a little bit. And once again, we can do that the same way, selecting the warp group and the perspective warp. There are other warp options here. You're free to experiment with them, but the one I like the most is perspective. And once again, we can get it lined up here. So I'm trying to match that top edge and also match this side edge here. So there we go, we added the text and perspective. Now, finally, let's go to our image example. So I'll drag this over. And for this one, remember, we need to now go to the pixel persona. So I'll click pixel persona, layer, new life filter layer, perspective. And once again, I'll line it up with the edges there. And there we have our image in perspective. Now, one tricky thing you wanna keep in mind with these warp options is how to select your objects after you've warped them. So for example, if I wanna click on my image here, I'm clicking on the corner of it, but nothing's actually selecting. However, if I click on the middle, it is selecting. The thing to remember is you have to click on where the object would be when it's not warped. So that would be this middle area here. And you can see basically the outline of where that object would normally be. So I can actually turn off the perspective. That's where that shape would be. So you need to click in this area in order to select it. But if I turn the perspective on, if you click in these other areas out here, it's not actually gonna work. So make sure you click on that original bounding box of your image or whatever object you're warping. If you're just getting started with Affinity Designer, be sure to check out my two hour crash course here on this channel. I also have a free PDF with some quick tips for beginners. I'll link to that down in the description below. Of course, if you have any questions about this topic, feel free to leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.